All right, good morning. Today we're looking at a small uh, power regulating device. It's in a nice aluminum shell with some heat fins to help dissipate heat. It says on the input side 8 slash 40, meaning 8 to 40 volts input range, and the output is supposed to be 13.8 volts at up to 10 amps uh, across the board, DC to DC converter. So we're going to do a couple of uh, simple little tests on that. The box is, the box is fairly straightforward and no instructions or anything else of, of real importance in there, so we're just going to set it aside. And um, bear with me here, we'll, we'll get some stuff set up here. Got a multimeter, of course, so that we can see a little bit about what we're doing. Let's see if it matters. If uh, that angle's too harsh for the camera, I'm sure. We'll probably do something more like this. Now, since it says 8 to 40 volts, I'm thinking we will uh, we will test down down quite a ways in range. The yellow is the positive output wire. I'm going to put an alligator jumper on that and try to keep it separate from everything else. And I'm just going to hook it up to, well, getting ahead of myself. Let's start at the bottom. I have a simple 9 volt Rayovac battery. At least I assume that it's 9 volts. Let's go ahead and test that now. So 9.51 volts so that's just that should be just enough to run this but I don't really know uh, for sure how this is going to go so we're gonna give it a shot I'm gonna hook the yellow output to that and I'm gonna use a green jumper for the output ground right here and got traditional red and black for the input. Yeah, it's probably a little easier to do it that way. And one more. So, make sure none of these are touching, but we should be able to hook these up to our 9 volt battery and see 13.8 volts out if the device uh, works as advertised down to that range. Get a better grip on the battery there. It wants to tip over. And here you are. So you're getting, not that you could really use much current in this scenario, of course. This little battery is not going to provide much in the way of amps, more like milliamps, but it does indeed put out actually just a fuzz over 13.8 volts on a 9 volt household battery. So I'd say that's a good start. I don't have anything all the way down at 8 volts exactly to try, but that's all right. Um, where should we go from here? You can see it must have capacitors because the voltage is kind of draining back down um, after that. Oh, I know what I need, uh, but do I have them down here? Rigid 20 volt tool battery. Let's see. Here we are. Apologize for the dead air there. See if I end up having time to edit that out or not. Um, rigid tool battery. I don't know if it says, but these are ballpark 18. Oh yeah, there it is. 18 volt input. So to make that easier to hook up, you can get these um, adapter plates for drill batteries and such. Just slides on there. It's all nice. Got a switch and a fuse. So that might not be able to be completely in frame. We'll do our best. This is needed a little more field of view for this video, I guess. Carefully. I guess we should probably check our 
check our output on the rigid battery pack. Need another multimeter, don't I? Uh, ba -ba. Turn it on. Don't let the wires touch. And yeah, it's fully charged, so we're showing 20 and a half volts on that battery pack right now. So that's, I don't know, about halfway up in the range there for our voltage regulator, voltage converter. So we will put red right there. We'll put black right there. Make sure nothing, no wires are touching each other. And we'll flip the switch. And with a 20 and a half volt input, we are once again at a 13.8 uh, volt output, just as expected. So nine volt battery, good. 18 to 20 volt tool battery. Perfect. This is a little bit more realistic scenario. Maybe running a, a radio of some sort in the car or something along those lines. Let's set that aside for now. Now I'm definitely not going to be able to get them in frame, but I have three different um, large 18 amp batteries here. Let's see if we can get them hooked up end to end with some jumpers and we'll get up to 36 volts or a little more, I hope. So red to black. And we're doing our doing our series. And another jumper to this battery. It has a, this one has a pigtail on it, but I'm not using that one. Red to black, right there. And then if we take the black wire, go to the far battery on the left, and our red wire, and go to our far battery on the right. And these are all hooked up together. Woohoo! Ah! Didn't like that. What did I do wrong? Probably should have used the multimeter first and seen what I had done. Or there's just so much current available that it uh, art just from the current. Let's see what's happening here. Now we have 38 volts. It might just be that the capacitors in that uh, voltage regulator are so greedy that they arced. So three large batteries hooked in series. And the capacitors in the in the voltage regulator, they want it. They're like, give that to me. <laughs> so I think we can safely hook it up and see what our output is. It's all hooked up now. And we're getting 13.76. Okay, so we're at the far, you know, this was 38 point something volts into the regulator. So we're at the upper range with, uh, let's see if I can get this camera out here, with one, two, three large batteries hooked in. Sorry for the shaky mount there. And we're still very, very close to our 13.8 volts. Very, very close. Gonna disconnect it now. Got a lot of power hooked up through a lot of little baby jumpers. <laughs> So that looks good. Uh, we've been able to test from 9 volts to just under 40 volts and uh, see that the regulator does indeed work throughout that whole range and maintains pretty close to a 13.8 volt output. So I would call that a success. Product seems good. Obviously we didn't test pulling any amperage or real current through it today, but um, I'm not too worried about that. I'll probably only use about half of that range anyways, so looks like we're probably probably gonna call this good. Just gonna make sure that all of those capacitors have completely drained before I start moving the wires around. There you have it.